right, so my throttle cable is way too long. And I'm going to shorten it. I thought that rather than messing with this little tiny end here and having to put some solder on the end and then shape it and everything, I figured I would uh, cut this end off instead. And I bought these replacement pieces. It's a little housing with a set screw. Fits perfectly in the uh, cable housing. But that has its own downside. This is the adjustment to tension the cable at the throttle end. And it appears to be pressed around I'm guessing a small ferrule on the end of this cable housing so it won't come off. So what I'll do is cut the housing here, try and pry open this pressed area, this pressed area here, open that up some and get out the piece of housing and what I imagine is a, is a short ferrule on the end. And then I'll just replace it with one of these brake cable ferrules. But that's the plan. If it all goes horribly wrong, I can always buy another throttle. They're pretty cheap and just use the uh, cable that comes with it and try it from the other end. But I think this will work. So that's what we're going to do. So step one is to cut this off. Get the cable out of there. And then cut this housing. These are cable housing cutters, but I don't really have good wire cutters big enough to uh, handle this. All right, so we'll just uh, pull the cable out. Now we'll cut this off here. Mm -mm. Let's move back a little bit. Okay. Whenever you cut these housings, the um, the metal inside always gets smushed over, and you gotta get in there with something pointy. I'm using a rat, a rat tail file and kind of reopen it getting that hole opened up again. Sometimes it's really simple, sometimes it takes a bit of doing. push and pull there's the plastic housing but but now with that with this housing out of there I can get something bigger in here and try and open up this pressed area which should allow me to get that short little ferrule out of there. Okay, I found a uh, I found an Allen key that's roughly the same size. Let's see here. It's hammer time. That's not going to do it. Eventually I'll stumble onto something that'll work. Okay, using the Dremel. 
and this kind of a cone shaped bit I was able to uh, I held it with this crescent wrench and then just very carefully lift it up on one side at a time All right take it out turn it take it out turn it and eventually the uh, ferrule that was in there came out and it's big enough to fit the new ferrule in and then all this edge here will be covered up by that uh, plastic hood right so it should be fine next step so the next thing to do is uh, put this back on the carburetor and put the other end in and just measure out how much of this cable I want to cut off then we'll um, we'll get the housing cut and then we'll get the cable itself cut to the right length okay I've decided to go behind the fuel line in between the tank brackets cross to the other side then go above these cables to match my rear brake and follow that curve as best I can whoops All right, follow that curve there and that gives me somewhere somewhere around this much cable coming off I'll get a little more exact and mark it with some masking tape and make the cut wherever I decide to cut this housing I'm going to add this much more to the length so I want to cut it a little bit short because I'm going to get that much back Well, I had hoped to show you how uh, I got this on there and measured it out, but there was just no way to do this and be sure that I was getting anything on film. Basically, I just set this throttle so I don't even know if my cameras are filming the right thing. It's so hard to tell. I set the throttle here so it's not down inside. And I just kind of pulled the wire along. I had this little thing on with a little bit of tension. Ow! So it wouldn't slide so easily. Um, yeah, just really too much to too much to do with two hands and but uh, I'll show you how these things work with a with this piece of um, cable once I get it cut off okay so if you use these things you may look at this hole that you're supposed to run the cable through and think like I did that there's no way that that cable's going to fit in there but all you really have to do is kind of turn the cable get it lined up and just kind of give it a little twist and it'll go through 
and then you have these little set screws here that go in with an Allen wrench and then you have a flat head on this other side so you can really tighten them down okay so now we get this barrel end in there run the cable down this slot just like you normally would and once it's all tightened up bada bing bada boom probably could have made it a little bit tighter I guess it doesn't really matter huh it doesn't have to come back all, the, all this way it springs back goes all the way as far as I can and it'll spring back on its own I'm gonna assume that's good all right the other day I shortened my clutch cable and I bought these self-adhesive clips they have two parts you have this um, metal piece with the adhesive backing that goes on and then there's a uh, u-shaped clip which pops down and holds the cable in place so I'm going to try these. Okay, so there's one. And I guess the other one I'll put right down here. Just going to center the cable on this part here and get a feel for where it should go actually there's a groove in there i didn't realize that there's a bit of a groove in this surface so i didn't really need to use that clip i can just make sure the cable is sitting in that groove And I'll let that dry before I uh, pop the clip in. Probably buy some hose clamps for these. But in the meantime, that's that.